Okay, so we'll probably end up messing with this interface. This interface? Like, I'm an interface? Oh my goodness. We'll probably end up messing with this, um, setup. <coughs> um, because I need some of the stuff that's underneath it. But, I'm just gonna talk for a little bit. Um, I'm just gonna get right into it. I was talking to my little brother. I was talking. Ooh, that went a little fast. Sorry. I was talking to my little brother yesterday, and um, I'm not gonna get into detail about the conversation because then I'll like go on rambling about something I didn't mean to talk about. But basically, we were talking, and me and him got into a little tiff with each other, a little vernacular disagreement. My way for saying verbal argument I guess or whatever um and <clears throat> throughout the conversation I immediately reacted and like I don't have a lot of times in my life where in my like physical life where I like immediately react like a lot of times I've gotten to a way where I can be very stoic with things so like when they happen to me physically I can just kind of like stare at them in a sense like almost like go somewhere else um like a system shock type of a thing so like if i it's just like the same it's like i don't know it's just like if i like say like one of my like, really inner thoughts or whatever i'll be like, like you'll see like on my face like i didn't mean to do that like but i feel like people think some people can think because the way i come up with social media that like i am very like emotionally resilient and i'm not like i'm actually <laughs> Not as much as people would think I am to the point where people probably be like, why do you, like, why are you so vulnerable on social media then? Because, like, that's kind of, like, asking for it, for, like, the way you feel. I don't know if that makes any sense. But basically, either way, it just, like, my conversation with him made me realize, like, some things about my own self. <clears throat> and, see, I'm trying to clear out <laughs> my third as I'm trying to call myself out. Um, <clears throat> but... It just, I don't have, like, long to be able to, like, record this and, like, really, like, just lose my mind in the sense. When I say lose my mind, I mean, like, after I, like, record this, I am going to just breathe. And truly let be what be be. <laughs> I got a couple birds that are, like, bothering me. Like, this one's, like, longer. And, like, I just probably didn't curl it enough. So it's just, like, annoying me. But the pink will be gone soon. It'll be black. I miss... <clears throat> I missed my basic black. But, um... And I'm trying to keep my AirPods from, like, falling out of my ears. Um... And I'm trying to stay, like, a little focused while I'm talking as well. While being, like, just a little high. <sighs> Mercury Retrograde is really kicking my ass, man. I'm not even kidding. Like, it really is. Um... I've been trying to, like, kind of just, like, fake it till I make it, like, some positivity. But I'm just going to be me, just be regular, schmegla. Um, nervous as fuck for the future, don't know what the fuck is coming with it. Um, I am maintaining my sh fortitude of mentality, I guess you would say. Not saying I'm, like, better than anybody, but I'm maintaining my frequency, which is frequency. <laughs> Um, and I'm maintaining what I fucking frequently see and protecting my peace and my brain and not going to look for things that are going to set me off on social media. Just not going looking for it. I'm always say if you, if you don't want to get your feelings hurt, you ain't going to go look for it. Or, you know, if you, if you want to go, you feel it hurt, you wouldn't done that. I don't know. Just something like that. <laughs> Down goes the card holder I may never, I may not even use. Good niche talk. Um, <clears throat> but, anyhow. Basically, I just, like, realized that I am not as, like, innocent and stuff as I, like, would want to be. And that just because I can, like, intuitively see things ahead of time. And maybe, like, say it to that person. That doesn't make me any less self sabotage than I already have been. 
You get what I'm saying? Like, I feel like for some stuff, I'm just really starting to see me. And, like, I've said this before. But I always try... It's a, I always keep it, like, a little, like, less personal for myself, if that makes any sense. Like, I'll do stuff correct in my head, and I'll do just enough to have felt like I have grown from my situation. Where it's not actual self... It's more so, like, I know how to analyze it and verbalize it and be like, okay, so I see where that happened here and I know how to because I'm also I'm a Mercury in Aquarius so at times I really know how to very well verbalize how I'm feeling all of a sudden like a light bulb is turned on and I'm like okay that is exactly how I'm feeling but I'm also a Pisces sun and moon um so there are times where like the emotions just feel so overwhelming that I'm I do not know how to really communicate it so like any like it's so like when I do this it's obvious to myself later on because I will try to over explain a situation and I've tried and I've started to re- realize that the triggering of me over explaining stuff is because I am trying to validate myself I'm trying to validate situations to myself I'm trying to validate relationships to myself I am trying to validate like my role in that person's life to myself it's weird to me because I pretend a lot like I don't care about things but I really do care about things One person wished me happy birthday that, like, wasn't physically around me. Well, two, my mom did as well. But, like, one person. And, like, instead of just saying, like, oh, thanks, babe. I had to mention how she was the only person. And there are just, like, little things about that that I'm, like, just singing about myself. Like, my shadow self. Like, like the need for self-validation through how someone else treated me. I'm like begging for someone to tell me that I'm special to them. I'm begging for someone to prove it to me. And I don't think that's right. And that's just how I personally feel about myself at the moment, you know? Beyond the ordinary. Then there's a point where I start, like, recording and talking. I realize I'm talking about myself and, like, getting very personal and kind of, like, triggering my own self sometimes, like, wounding my own self sometimes. So I, then I try to, like, kind of, like, separate it. And, like, this is so obvious because, like, I wouldn't actually just go to a car. Like, I didn't even say I was about to go to a car. I just I just did it because I was, like, getting too close to home. And then I was like, all right, bye-bye. It's not because I, like, didn't have anything to say. I always have plenty of things to say. It's just because my brain was like, ooh, getting too close to home. I have never pulled this card. I just want to see if it's in the guide book. Oh, that's not it. In prayer, we find ourselves to the directly connected to our higher power. It is a way for us to be in communion with the divine. A reminder that our lives are sacred conversation we are consciously engaged in. Prayer lets us know we are not alone. A power greater than us acts on our behalf and is activated through us. Suffusing our hearts and minds with a fair with a faith that is life affirming, loving, and compassionate. When we pray, we acknowledge that we are only part of the equation of life, that a spiritual aspect is always in operation. It's so funny how people, like, don't even realize, like, how much, like, spirituality is in Oracle and Tarot. Like, I've connected, I've honestly connected a lot more with God with it because it's something that has allowed me to, like, let go into him, in a sense. Like, before, I used to be, like, when I was part of the church, I used to be, like, too prideful, like, to pray during bad moments of my life if that makes any sense because I always just thought like oh he knows I'm gonna come to him because it's a bad moment so I wouldn't but I would like do like this like it felt more like false prayer to myself when like something good happened like be God and I would only do it to myself though like not even for the I don't know why like it's just like the over analyzation that comes into it oops sometimes it's like just entertaining to me The power source is within you. Now is the time to awaken it. Spirit of gratitude. I definitely see that. The prospering power of prayer. Communion with the divine expressing deep gratitude as you move through the world. Knowing that your prayers will be answered exactly as they are meant to be. I kind of said that earlier. Like I just want to like, let it be. 
you know. in the brain in my head. I just really want to be able to let go of a outcome and Surrender more to the now. I've had my Ten of Cups. In ways that even if they weren't going to be the everlasting Ten of Cups, they were still my Ten of Cups at the moment. And I haven't fully embraced those. And it's never too late to make the moment to commit to not repeating cycles, to commit to to not self-sabotaging your relationships, to commit to not thinking or like, you know what, I guess I realize, I realize I'm not a good person. Not as good of a person as I wanted to be, as I thought I fucking was. I know some people, if you watch this, they're probably thinking, hell yeah, we've been told uh, her she wasn't a long time ago. And you know what? You're fucking right. You're fucking right. You're fucking right. I have this horrible habit of putting other people's names in situations to validate what that person and me could be experiencing. What I mean by that is, like, let's say I... Let's say person C went out of my life before person E. If any person C's behavior matches up to person E's behavior, I rationalize person C's behavior with person E's behavior and make them equal whatever C plus E would equal. And that ain't right. That doesn't... <laughs> just because I'm emotional about a situation, just because I can feel a situation, doesn't even mean I can actually understand that situation. You know? And I'm just, like, truly, really starting to feel the brevity, almost, of what I have done to other people in my life. Not that I haven't before, but there's always an inch of, but I did this because they did that. And, yet again, that doesn't make me a good person. Oh my gosh, there's just, oh yeah. I don't know if this will pick it up, but I was watching Charmed, and I'll be doing video on Charmed. As well, wouldn't that make you evil? Watch your tongue. How'd you like it if I started saying witches are evil? So, like, Paige Piper is talking to the leprechaun because Paige likes the leprechaun, or whatever. And she says, I'm gonna play it again. Luck as well, wouldn't that make you evil? She was saying, like, if you give out actually leprechaun, like, if he gives out good bad luck as well, does that make him evil? evil. She, like, she looked at her. How'd you like it if I started saying witches are evil? He's like, watch your tongue. How would you like it if I said witches are evil? Okay, horrible accent. He said, watch your tongue. How would you like to know? How, how would you like it if I said witches are evil? Oh, Jesus. No more accents for me. <laughs> yeah, leprechauns might be tricksters, but they're definitely not evil. Leo says, leprechauns might be tricksters, but they're definitely not evil. Like it or not, the world needs bad luck. It keeps the natural order in balance. Like it or not, the world needs bad luck. It keeps the natural order in balance. Finally, a man with a solid head on his shoulder. He's like, finally, a man with a solid head on his shoulders. Okay, did I just say no accents, Shkayla? I'm sorry, uh... Maybe even more so. Because of adversity, people learn. They grow. And he's like, maybe even more so with bad luck. Because of adversity, people learn. They grow. A man with a solid head on his shoulders. Bad luck helps people just as much as good luck. Maybe even more so. Because of adversity, people learn. They grow. So, like, I had, like, in the middle of the episode. 
I had like, just watched that, and I was like, oh my gosh, I was like, that is so fucking true. Like, so much with this show, like, is so interesting, like, how, like, with, uh, good magic, like, with the, with the witches, like, the witches are good magic, um, they're not allowed to do anything, like, for personal gain, which, like, you know, I was, like, watching Charmed, I was like, you know, I would definitely be one of the Charmed ones, but, like, watching them, like, struggle to pay bills... And also have to save, like, all the human world. I'm just kind of like, uh, um, I don't know. Maybe I would want to be bad. (laughs) Ooh, my foot fell asleep. Ooh. (sighs) It has to go all the way to sleep. This is not that type of show. No only fans for me exist. At the moment. Actually, yeah, actually, to be honest with you, I tried to make an account, and for some reason, like, it kept saying I wasn't real. And then, I was like, this authentication process is unreal. But I never thought about how many people probably try to make fake accounts for these things. Hmm, never thought about it. But... Mm, I'm gonna fall asleep all the way. But, yeah, I don't know. I'm going to end it here because I just like went on a random tangent. I didn't want to do it either. And then, like, actually that kind of is like keep going off my head right now for some reason. I just wanted to, wanted to finish the episode. So, I don't know. I'm going to tell this shit. I'm not, I don't like rewatching it. But, I mean, if you're here, like, comment, subscribe. I upload and upload. And I'm me because I'm me.